Okay, now let's take a look at uh, the last free response questions here in the Chem 11 sample exam one or question number 19. So this one gives you argon and it says that there's three isotopes of argon, argon 36, 38, and 40. And then it tells you that those are the isotopic masses all in AMU units, right? And then they also tell you that the average atomic mass is 39.948. And then the percent abundance of the argon 40 is 99.6. So the question is, what's the percent abundance of the argon 36? So this is your isotopic mass, average mass calculation, percent abundance calculation that we also learn in class. It's like you have a pi here, right? And the pi represents all the isotopes of a particular element. And then they're divided into different fractions, right? Or different percent abundances. So in this case, we have three different isotopes. So there's three slices. And one slice is really large, so it's 99.6%. Okay, so that's argon 40. And then the other two makes up both the argon 36 and 30. Eight. So here we're being asked to find the 36. So we can say that since I don't know either one, I'm going to let this one be X. And then I have to think about what this one would be. Okay. Well, remember that the total percent abundance has to equal 100%. Since we know that that's the sum of all three percent abundance, right? 36, 38, and 40. We already know that the 40 is 99.6. So then the percent abundance of 36 plus 38 should equal 100% minus 99.6%, which is just 0.4%. So this is these two. Now, so if I let my x equals the percent abundance of the 36, the percent abundance of the 38, then must be 0.4% minus x. So now we can set up the equation to calculate it. Remember that the average mass or the atomic mass is gonna equal the sum of the percent abundance times the isotopic mass. So we'll say 99.6%, which is, remember, it's just over 100, right, times uh, argon 40. Argon 40 has a mass of, actual mass of 39.962, so we're gonna have to write that number down. I'm not gonna write down the units, just to gonna save space here. Plus, okay, so 36 is X, right? So X percent, again, percent means over 100, so times, Argon, the mass is 35.968. And then you get 0.4% minus x. So you'd say 0.4 minus x over 100. Then that multiplies by 37.963. And all of these would give you a um, average mass of 39.948. Okay. And so what you need to do is just kind of work out your uh, calculations here. You know, they're all out of 100, so you can kind of bring the 100 to, bring all these 100s right here to the left side if you're gonna do your little algebra. So you get 3994.8, and then I'm gonna multiply these two numbers right here on the top, and that would give me 3980.2152. Again, all the 100s have gone to the left side, right? Because I factor that one out. This one would be 35.968x, and then this side, you got 0.4 times, you know, you got, you got to do this multiplication out here, distribute out the 0.4 in the X. So you got 0.4 times 37.963, which gives you 18.1852 minus the 37.963 X. Okay. All right. So you can see that now you have some of these with X on them and then some of them without X. So you can isolate the X's on one side, right? 37.963 minus, so you get 1.995x, that's on one side, and then on the other side you get all the other numbers. The numbers would be 0 0.6004, then so x would be 0.3. Now 0.3 is already the actual percentage, you don't have to multiply this by 100, right? Because when we did our original calculation, we let that x be equal to the percent abundance, which is and the hundred is already the percent hundred is already expressed here. So that then is the percent abundance of the 36 um, argon isotope. Okay.